we're going to be making a peppermint shrimp trap. Or this could be really for any type of shrimp invertebrate that you might want to catch in your tank. Sometimes they can be very difficult to catch with a net. We recommend making a peppermint shrimp trap in order to actually catch your shrimp without putting too much stress on them. And so here are a, a couple reasons why you may want to take your peppermint shrimp out of the tank. Many people use peppermint shrimp as a way to remove aptasia from a tank, but it doesn't always work. And so we here at Salty Underground really believe in the method of using the Bergia nudibranch to get rid of your aptasia. So we would recommend that you take out the peppermint shrimp before you add in the Bergia just because they're predators of Bergia and you don't want all the money you just spent on your Bergia to go to waste when your peppermint shrimp try to eat your Bergia. Let's actually make the trap. You can make this trap really pretty simply and very inexpensive. You probably already have most of these materials laying around your house. Depending on the size of your tank, you will want to either get a, a like a two liter bottle, a 32 ounce bottle, even just a little water bottle. It can be as simple as that. So then what you're gonna want to do is you want to take a pair of scissors and make sure you've rinsed out your bottle of choice very thoroughly. You don't want any kind of like soda or anything like that to get into your tank. And then you're just going to create a little Hole. Then you're going to cut around the perimeter of the bottle. Once that has been done, you are going to want to take off the cap. You're going to invert the part that you just cut off into the bottom of the bottle. Most of the time it fits pretty snugly, but if you are concerned that it might come undone, you can always use some super glue around it or even hot glue. Welcome to the demonstration portion of our video. The first step you're gonna to wanna to do is take the bottom portion of the trap and fill it with tank water. This will allow for easier submersion in the final step. You're then going to want to pick the bait of your choice. Here we're using a thawed frozen food that is typically fed to our peppermint shrimp. We're gonna take the top portion of the bottle and invert it into the bottom and make sure that it's in there securely so it doesn't fall out. We're then going to slowly submerge the bottle and rest it at the bottom of the tank. And now it's just a waiting game. You're gonna wait until the peppermint shrimp have got into your trap. For the purposes of this video, we had the lights on, but in a typical scenario, you're going to want to put this trap inside your tank after the lights go out, so then the peppermint shrimp will come out for feeding time, and you're gonna get much better results than if you do it during the daytime. And you can repeat this process as many times as needed to catch the peppermint shrimp that you have in your tank. So that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this little educational video on how to make a peppermint shrimp trap and definitely make sure to let me know in the comments down below whether or not this actually works for you and your tank. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.